Yo, what's up? Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. Back with my new series, Venus. Venus and Gemini. So you know Venus, romance, pleasure, money, sweets, love language, luxury, things you might like to collect, material items, your five senses, right? Beauty, relationships, all this good stuff. Well, when you create it, in Gemini? Oh man, now you gotta look at the whole birth chart, but Venus in Gemini, what's Gemini? Mercury, communication, expression, speech, handwriting, talking, sales, marketing, business, siblings, local community, travel, right? Your neighbors. Well, Venus in Gemini, and Gemini is the twins, but it's really duality, right? Men, women. So when you're talking about Venus in Gemini, you're talking about someone that you've got to make love to the mind. It's very mental. Okay? I know some of the famous people just off the off the tizzy. You got Tupac, Missy Elliott. All right? Nelson Mandela. Jennifer Lopez. Uh, Megan Fox. Little Kim. So, um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So, Venus and Gemini... They love to use their hands and they're very expressive. But, you know, I mean, let's be honest. Um, they're very mental. So they, you know, might like to talk a lot about sex. They could get into gossip. They can be great at writing and teaching, right? So the men, they'll probably get a very verbal woman Right. If you got this placement, you'll attract women that are maybe teachers or accountants or great writers or work on the local news. And the women, you can attract men who are like what actors, rappers. You probably if you got this, you probably like, you know, rappers and actors and, you know, guys that write. But you yourself, you might like to do a lot of writing and not just typing, like actually write stuff. Could be very, you know, romantic in that sense. Um Venus in Gemini is really cool. It's, it's um, you know, Gemini is very sexual. It's the trickster. It's Mercury the Prince, right? <laughs> Little playboys and playgirls. Very intelligent, though. And you remember, Gemini is what? Mutable air. Venus rules Taurus and Libra. So when you put an air sign here, right, and it's mutable, these people can be very um, verbally sensual, can be all about making money in multiple ways, can be communicating, writing, sales, business, lawyer, teacher, like, I mean, just whatever. Um, you know, when it comes to their sex and love and relationships, they... Um, They're not always, it's not that they can't be faithful. Of course, anybody can, right? And like I say, you got to get the whole birth chart done. You hit me up, tell it to you, coaching at gmail.com. I'll break it down for you however you want. And, you know, through the whole chart, you'll see the Venus, the Mars, your Mercury, your moon, the emotional mind, how you react. Juno, what's in your seventh house, right? I mean, if you got Venus and Gemini in the seventh house, you're a Sagittarius Ascendant, you might want to, you know, marry a, a Gemini type person. Now, with Gemini and Venus, it means your sun sign is either, right? Remember, I tell you two before, two after, so it's one of five. So you're either a Gemini, Cancer, or Leo sun, or Taurus, Aries sun. All right? So it's, uh, you know, it's a great placement fascinating people but you know they're definitely gonna be very very verbal okay you meet them at a club a bar they're gonna be the ones that are like you know i i can't hear you Let, let's talk they want the mental you gotta work this to get all of that <laughs> all right so don't be afraid of, of expression, of expressing yourself. It's so important for them. 
you know, and they'll be very attracted like to Venus and Aquarius or Libra or Leo, Aries, or even Sag, you know, maybe even Virgo, Venus and Virgo. But Venus and Gemini, extremely um, fun. They're adventurous, they're all over the place, right? Mutable air, so they're about not just communicating and chit-chatting, but they could be attracted to this one. Then now all of a sudden I'm attracted to that one. Or I'm attracted to all of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, they're good people. You know, I, I've definitely met some Venus and Gemini people in my day. Even, you know, worked with uh, your girl, Missy Elliott, right? We hung out a little bit on uh, Pootie Tang. <laughs> So, um, you know, but I mean, when you think about these people, there's definitely a sexual energy with J-Lo and Megan Fox and Tupac and uh, Lil' Kim and Missy Elliott and, you know, there's some others. I don't remember all of them, but you know what I mean? And <clears throat> I think if you are very shy, that can turn them off. They don't want the introvert. They like extroverts because they're extrovert. You know, they're, they're outgoing. They want to verbally explore and, and exchange ideas. And, you know, they want to know what's happening. They want to go to the local spot, you know. They probably will collect, um, you know, things that are around, you know, where they're from. You know, they're very city type people, you know. Not saying that they can't live in the country or the birds. I'm just saying that there's this like wanting to move, wanting to move, shake, communicate, share. You know, they're the type if they go out on a Friday night, they might go to two or three spots. Right? We'll meet at this restaurant. We'll go to this club, and then we'll go to the after lounge, which you know used to do all the time in New York City. So I think that um, overall, you know, you're gonna have fun. It might not always be the deep, mature love, but I think with Venus and Gemini, it's about fun. So as long as you can keep this, sorry about that. As long as you can keep this going and together, they're cool. So they need constant stimulation, right? Ideas, exchange of thoughts, and, uh, even the verbal jousting, arguing, debating. And that leads to sex, hot sex on a platter, okay? Because once you stimulate the mind, they get so excited. The ladies, oh my God, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The fellas, they're like, they love a, a verbally, not combative, but a girl that will give them some stuff, talk some smack to them. They love that, okay? They like a sassy girl. A, a mature, evolved, intelligent woman. Because it's all mental. Truly mental foreplay. Like I call Gemini's <laughs> in some of my other videos, you'll see the verbal slut. Well, yeah, they kind of are. Because they just love to share and communicate. You don't get jealous. Because they won't like that. They're like, come on, I, I'm, this is just me, okay? Very good writing skills, talented actors and artists, great designers, poets, interior decorators, great professors, teachers, and just big kids. They're silly. They're fun. They're Venus and Gemini. They're number one, 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 two, two, two. Because it's always two. It's always the twin. All right? They can be a little sexually freaky. I mean, come on. Gemini is up there with the whole, you know, that's the sex sign, right? Even more so than Scorpio. Scorpio is the intensity for the deep, like, soul sex. But Gemini and Leo, you know, it's all, you know, and even Virgo. You know, it's all like this communication and hands and Mercury controls the hands and shoulders and the mouth and touching and talking and Venus and Taurus and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So hit me up, please subscribe down below, ring the bell, 
I hope you enjoy all my series, you know, the sun, the mercury, the moon, the midheaven, the rising, the cusp. I felt like the cusp I did so long ago. I'm not gonna redo it, but I'll, I'll put a new twist on it to update some of the cusp stuff because the cusp series is really popular. You guys like cusp stuff. So, you know, after Venus and Gemini, I'm going Cancer. I'm gonna do them in order. Uh, hit me up at Big Three Astrology on Twitter and at Taylor2C. Check out Taylor2Coaching.com so you can see my services. Check out my blogs. I gotta update the website, but I'm only one person. I'm trying to design courses and I'm gonna be teaching some medical astrology and I'm doing birth charts and readings. And I got the mini birth chart with just your sun, moon, rising sign. You say gotta talk fast with Venus and Gemini and your part of fortune, which is where your soul shines brightest, usually after 30 in the chart. So here you hit me up at tailored to you coaching at gmail.com to the letter U, tailored to you coaching.com or tailored to you coaching at gmail.com. Send me the email, we'll set it up, all right? And we'll get your birth chart done. The custom video summary blows your mind. I'm a Virgo, Capricorn moon, Scorpio ascendant. So you need me to do your chart because I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break it down however you want. Nah, I, I do a good job, and the testimonials on my website are real. You can watch it, check them out on my social media. And I love the support, and I love being of service to people. And Venus and Gemini, you might need some guidance for, you know, making money and relationships. And uh, my Venus is in Scorpio. We'll get to that soon. I got you. It's not at home, it falls in Scorpio, but I'm okay with it because it's magnetic. Venus and Gemini, you, you're talented and gifted and hopefully you never shop lifted. You want to make the cash and the money and you want to share it with a honey. Venus and Gemini, peace. Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. All right. I got you, homie. I got you, lady. Okay? Keep the style and the different ways of talking and communicating. <laughs> Peace.